What you sow is what you reap. Life gives you what you give to it. This is one of the strongest premises of karma. Karma is merely getting back whatever you do, good or bad, into the universe. Your actions create your future. The reason your fate is never sealed is because you have free will. Therefore, your future cannot already be written. That would not be fair. Life gives you chances. This is one of them. Most people wrongly believe that karma means punishment. But according to the basic Sanskrit definition of karma, it simply means actions. Laws of karma focus on the positive or negative results of our words, thoughts, and actions. As a result, everything we do creates a corresponding outcome that comes back to us one way or another. How we treat others, how we see our own role in the world, how we use resources, and how we develop our characters are all connected to our karma. Karma is the equivalent of Newton's law of motion of every action has an equal reaction. However, every one of us understands karma in a way. We mean karma when we say what goes around comes around. How do you attract good karma into your life? Here are 12 laws of karma that would change your approach to life. 1. The Great Law of the Law of Cause and Effect The Great Law is sometimes referred to as the Law of Cause and Effect. The Great Law says simply, What you sow is what you reap. If you must reap happiness, peace, love and friendship, you must be a happy, peaceful, loving and a true friend. Whatever you sow into the world comes back to you. To have something, the Great Law says you must give those things. This is the Law of Attraction which says whatever you give out is also what you will receive, whether positive or negative. If you want to have open and honest relationships, be open and honest with the people you are in a relationship with. If you desire to have love in your life, be loving. If you want to enjoy financial abundance, be generous. Whatever you want, sow it. 2. The Law of Creation to get something you desire into your life, the karmic law of creation, you must actively participate in its creation. You must actively participate in its creation. Nothing happens by itself. Things happen for us only when we participate. The law says that we are one with the universe. Whatever surrounds us gives us clues to our inner states. According to the second karmic, you cannot wait for things to happen. You must aim to surround yourself with what you desire to have in your life and look to your environment for ideas about the things you need. The things on your outside actually shows you what's happening on your inside. If you don't like the way your life is at the moment, change your inner self. Look within and ask yourself what needs to change. 3. The Law of Humility The karmic law of humility says each one of us must accept something in order to change it. If all you see is an enemy or a negative character trait, then you cannot focus on a higher level of existence. With this karmic rule, you only need to accept that something is real before you can change it. For example, you are not observing this rule and are denying reality if you constantly blame others for the things you cost or see anyone who disagrees with you as an antagonist. You will not be able to make progress you need to make. To maximize this law of humility, you must carry out self-reflection as often as possible. 4. The Law of Growth The basis of this particular growth is this. Wherever you go, there you are. Too many times we demand change from people and things around us for our lives to be better. But apparently, we are the ones who must change if we want to grow. We don't have control over what people do, but we do have control over ourselves. When we change, it is natural that things around us and even the people around us will change. Don't demand change from others when you yourself are not changing. Such change hardly happens. Since you only have control over yourself, it is how you use this control that shapes how the universe responds to you. Therefore. Fix your attention on controlling yourself before trying to control or change others. Let them come to their own conclusion about what needs to change. 5. The Law of Responsibility This karmic law simply stipulates, if something is wrong in your life, something is wrong in you. You mirror what you surround and what surrounds you mirrors you. The truth is universal. As a result, you must take responsibility for whatever is in your life. You are responsible for what happens throughout your life's journey. 
You are responsible for your life's experiences, whether good or bad. This law teaches you that you should take responsibility for the good and bad things you create rather than constantly looking outside yourself to find excuses. 6. The Law of Connection In this law, you must learn that the smallest and seemingly least important things must be done because everything in the universe is connected. The interconnected nature of the past, present and future reminds us that our control over the present and future can help us remove the bad energy of the past. Each step leads to the next step and so forth and so on. Someone must do the initial work to get a job done. Neither the first step nor the last step are of greater significance. 7. The Law of Focus You cannot focus on two things at a time. The karmic law of focus says you will do exceptionally well in life if you keep your thoughts on just one thing while excluding the others. We cannot completely think about several things at the same time. One must stay and others must go. Thus, if you have some crucial goals, focus on one at a time and proceed from there. Also, if you focus on your higher values, you won't be able to focus on lower emotions or thoughts like those that come from resentment, anger, or possessiveness. 8. The Law of Giving and Hospitality According to this law, if you believe something to be true, then sometimes in your life, you will be called upon to demonstrate that truth. Here, you put what you claim to have learned into practice. You will have to demonstrate your commitment to a truth you believe at some point. This law encourages that your actions must reflect your beliefs. So, there must be a connection between belief and practice. That means the universe is expected to test you in what you believe. Life will certainly give you opportunities to put the lessons you've learned into practice, mostly to show you what you need to improve in your character. 9. The Law of Here and Now this law says you cannot be in the here and now if you are looking backward to examine what was or forward or worry about the future. Old thoughts, old patterns of behavior and old dreams prevent you from having new ones. Dwelling on your past holds you back from enjoying the present. If you hold too tightly to past feelings, experiences and beliefs, you will always remain in the past. Likewise, if you focus on anxiety or on greed, you will always have one foot in the future. It will help if you always reminded yourself that the present is all you have and that it is there to be fully engaged with and enjoyed. 10. The Law of Change We may have read before that history repeats itself until we learn the lessons that we need to change our path. Because the universe always gives you what you need, you will discover that history continually repeats itself until you demonstrate that you've learned what you need to create a different future. If you are stuck in a cycle, it is because you haven't learned or addressed something important that you need to. However, if something starts to change suddenly, you must have taken some steps to grow. 11. The Law of Patience and Reward If you must expect a reward, you must toil. All rewards that bring values that last demand that you must be patient and give your due amount to work. You will experience true joy when you do what you're supposed to be doing and you know that the reward will come at the right time. The law states that your greatest success requires consistent hard work. As a result, you must be patient no matter your goals in life. You will be disappointed if you expect immediate success. If you insist on it, the success you attain impatiently will be small compared to when you wait patiently for success while working hard. Find out where your true purpose is, act in accordance with that purpose and enjoy the reward of knowing you are doing what you are supposed to do with your current life. In time, associated successes, emotional and material, will follow you. 12. The Law of Significance and Inspiration You will value something to the extent of the energy that you invest in it. You get back from something whatever you put into it. Therefore. Every personal contribution is also a contribution to the whole. Lesser contributions have no impact on the whole, nor do they work to diminish it. Loving contributions bring life to and inspire the whole world. The creative and loving contributions you make to the world around you will inspire similar positive behaviors from others and will bring more positivity into your life. You may think you are not important to this world, but you are. You are relevant to the universe. Having watched this video, if you now have good understanding 
and are ready to practice the 12 laws of karma. Subscribe to this channel to watch more helpful videos. We love you.